Kim Kassan says the other employees were too afraid to come to the bodega today after his cousin and night shift cashier at the Yaya Deli and Grill on Melrose Avenue was robbed at gunpoint just after midnight on Friday. I take everything. He said, I, call you, I kill you. Don't call the police when I leave. When you call the police, I come back. I kill you. The suspect concealed his identity by wearing a hazmat suit. He got away with more than $1,000 from the cash register. He took all the money, took a lot of stuff. Somebody who was was outside to wait for him. Yeah, he got masks. He can't say nothing on his face. Police say the Bronx Bodega was the second location for the suspect, who less than an hour before that robbed the Dayona Gourmet Deli and Grocery on 3rd Avenue and East 81st Street in Manhattan. Authorities say the masked man shot a 67-year-old deli worker in the head there, killing him. He came in, he, he robbed him first, then he took him to the back room and he shot him in the head. Uh, there was no need for to kill this man after you had robbed him. Uh, shortly after that, the person left here in a scooter. Members of the United Bodega Association gathered outside the store to show solidarity and to express their outrage after so many recent acts of violence across the city. Their spokesman, Fernando Mateo, is calling for an end to bail reform. The worst of it all is if any of these business people defend themselves, they will be prosecuted and they will be arrested and they will be in jail. But those that are committing the crimes have nothing to worry about. Though the Upper East Side store remained closed on Saturday, neighbors came to pay their respects to the victim. It was just a very, very kind, uh, you know, hardworking, diligent, uh, just so friendly. You, you know, the type of person when you come in uh, and see him, you know, you know, this is this is a friend. This has always been a place where you could walk day or night without any trouble, and it's really a terrible shame. The United Bodegas of America is now offering a $5,000 reward for information about this suspect. They want him off the streets. If you have information, you're urged to contact police.